Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, zipping around. Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic. <gasps> Looks like a bit of hard rock right at the bottom of the screen. So maybe we are, I believe we're getting closer to the base of this. Oh, is this going to go. kind of rotate itself back up? bits of information that we got from Estefina about the anemones is that uh, we kind of call this a generalized Venus flytrap anemone, uh, which is a common name that includes a lot of different types of anemones because this type of adaptation is, you know, very common across a lot of different species where they can have this like really flat. Oh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> wow, yeah. I've never seen a, one referred to as a Venus flytrap with this color, but it does have the same like morphology where it has that kind of snatch like mm -hmm. um, way of closing. So, yeah, it's definitely a interesting specimen. we've seen the bobtail squid while we've been out here, they are in this similar type of posture, just kind of hanging out on the seafloor, um, not not as um, active when we approach them as the octopus or the squid.
Timothy Polypus, Octopus. Um, actually, it looks like this octopus has one row of suckers. Maybe I'm wrong. Zoom in a little bit more. Okay. It does look like one row.
into that jumbo, a type of jumbo octopus, or no? Wow. These are my favorite. in the dark. Background with the lights here. Wow. Oh, that's a great shot. This is a, another type of octopus for the day, so at least our third type. Um, really amazing creatures. And they get their name from those little ear flaps I yes. mean they're not ears but the, the, they're fins <laughs> yeah they're fins look but. large and they often flap them so they have that characteristic Dumbo um, Dumbo look and we've seen them there are other species that have even larger flaps <laughs> Wow Yeah, so these are part of their serrate octopuses. So they have um, that lining essentially between the tentacles. So on other octopuses, the tentacles are all independent, but these are all um, attached to each other. And it gives them that really wonderful, when they are um, swimming, that really that wonderful skirt. skirt. Yeah. yeah. Seems like we might be on a cephalopod nest. safari today. We've seen all different kinds. Um, definitely the most cephalopods I've ever seen in a dive, personally, and even a nice diversity.